searching for perfection. The fearless always push the limit or crave the thrill of the chase. Some only ride with their crew, but all do it for the reputation. How you drive, it's up to you. remember you all right well I'll just go with the flow hold on a second let me fix my beard it's beautiful <laughs> all right so I'm here at the EA booth at E3 2015 with James Moat here drinking some lovely little bunch cheers man <laughs> and we're gonna talk a little bit about the new need for speed game absolutely so Two years in the world, well, one year wholly to make the best ever new Need for Speed game, and it's called Need for Speed. Yeah, absolutely. The Just Need, Need for Speed. Speed. No subtitles, no extra bits. All right. And we, we want to do that to reboot the series. We spend all that extra time figuring out what makes Need for Speed great, and we want to make the statement that Need for Speed is back, and this is what makes it great and where we're going in the future. All right, so uh, I saw a little bit of gameplay when you revealed the final gameplay. Uh, tell me a little bit, um, like, how many car manufacturers there are in this Need for Speed game? We've got a bunch. We haven't uh -huh. confirmed how many, though. Yeah, uh, you we can't tell us. Downstairs in the, the booth, we'll make sure you get to play a few different cars. We've got five up there. We've got a Mustang. We've got a Porsche. We've got an old Nissan, right. a Subaru. We've got lots to play down there. All right. Uh, so, uh, does the game have a cockpit view? No. Ah. It doesn't have a cockpit view, but we haven't had a cockpit view for a while. Yeah. We're focusing on making sure that the player can customize their car. And okay. If you're doing that, why be inside the car? We want to make sure you can see your car, and when you've made it great and awesome, yeah. you can see it for yourself. So, okay, uh, but how's the handling? Uh, is it more like arcade or simulation or mixture? Yeah. So this is one of our big innovations. We, we've taken all the feedback that the players have given us. A lot of people love the, the new style of the Criterion style, most wanted and uh, yeah. hot pursuits. Very drifty, very action oriented. But a lot of other people want the more traditional, I want grip handling. I want to take tight racing lines and break into the corners. And we made the tuning suite so you can make cars do both. And they're both competitive styles of driving. All right, all right. Uh, so next question. How big is the game world? This is all open, right? But uh, compared to like Need for Speed Underground 2, how how big? Ah, uh, I don't I don't actually know how to compare it to Underground 2. But if you played Rivals, Rivals was very big. We're twice as big as Rivals. All right, twice as okay. Uh, does it have day and night cycle? No, we're dusk to dawn. Dusk so to it's dawn. All about okay. nighttime driving. It's about driving in that kind of elusive uh, nighttime after hours club. So. If you're driving during the day in LA, it's kind of traffic, not the yeah. easiest to drive. Yeah, it, it, indeed. Nighttime, that's where the real fun is, and that's where you can start Wide doing roads. all sorts of crazy stuff and have a lot of fun in that kind of elusive uh, environment, that elusive club of drivers so it, out there. So it has a lot of like, it's, it has a downtown part and a lot of like uh, other uh, like uh, suburbians and yeah. uh, a mountain range also maybe? Yeah, so Ventura Bay yeah. is our world, is our fictional LA. Yeah. And the whole point is, it feels like LA, it's got the landmarks you know. Okay. It allows you to cool. do downtown core, it allows you to get out into the hills, lots of winding roads, tight corners and intersections, all sorts of different driving in this world. All right, so one question maybe for myself yeah. uh, that is interesting. Uh, does the game world have like, a, like pedestrians walking the streets? No, pedestrians isn't a part of Need for Speed. We want to stay away from that sense of you might kill someone or hurt someone. It's all about driving your car in really exciting ways and working with your crew, uh, driving at high speeds, driving with style. Not about trying to hit people with your car. All right, I was, <laughs> I was maybe like, just thinking like maybe there's some like mid down lines. You remember that game? I do. Like jumping in the last second away. Like, yeah. City maybe might feel a little bit. Alive. It's also nighttime and there's not a lot of pedestrians at night. So we wanted to focus on the car and the driving and the world. Pedestrians would be hard to pull off. All right, all right. <laughs> so, yeah, um, I'll check one more question, maybe. Yeah. Um, yeah, how's the damage of the cars? Like, is there more damage the, this year, or are the Because we can now add parts and stuff. It's, it would be 
quite hard to make damage. You, you're still going to see damage like we've had in the previous game, so you're going to be able to bash up and deform, scrape and scratch your car up. Yeah. But it's still within limits. We don't want to destroy that car completely. You want your car to still be able to drive and be full of uh, power all the way through to the end. All right. Last question. Yep. Storyline, single player, is there anything? There's not only one story, there's five stories. Five stories? Five stories. So there's, what we're talking about a lot is the five ways to play. So there's a speed story, there's a style story, oh, there's every a crew story, oh, okay. there's a build story, and an outlaw story. Five different ways to play, five different stories, five characters, lots of icons, all sorts of people to interact with, a big story in this game. And how long would a one playthrough of single player take? We haven't talked about numbers yet, but there's a lot of content there. I, I'm really happy with the amount of hours on this game. Okay. Well, the game looks absolutely incredible, so uh, can I check out the game? Absolutely. Let's go check it out now. Let's go check out Need for Speed 2015. <laughs> okay, go. good. Man. Oh, wait a second. <laughs> I need a drink. <laughs> All right. Oh, my God. Icons can drive you, push you to the edge, and around here, they will inspire you. For some, style is all that matters. Others build, searching for perfection. The fearless always push the limit, or crave the thrill of the chase. Some only ride with their crew. But all do it for the reputation. How you drive, it's up to you.